Hello everyone. Uh, many of them told me that fingerprint is not working on Nogatroms. So today I am taking a Nogatrom by AMT and I will be fixing fingerprint on this. Please uh, observe this tutorial carefully in order to enable fingerprint in every other ROM. So firstly I have a boot image here which I have copied already to the Carlev image kitchen folder. So I will be moving there. You can see there are two boot images here. This is the Resurrection Remix boot image and uh, this is the boot uh, verifiedimg So now uh, time to extract those both. So I'll be opening a terminal here and dot slash car leave. This is Ubuntu and uh, as it is Linux it may differ from Windows in car leave but the method is same though, fun though the functionality may differ. So I'll select the boot because I'm extracting boot image. So then first I'll be extracting Resurrection Remix boot image so option 1 now unpack then now uh, go to option E so as to select a uh, stock ROM's boot image option E then select the stock ROM boot image and press uh, unpack now that we have unpacked time to go to the further steps so move into the stock ROM's uh, RAM disk and uh, copy this file named init.trustsonic.rc trustsonic.rc from stock boot image to resurrection remix ram disk and then open init.mt6753.rc in uh, resurrection remix ram disk and go back to stock uh, boot image ram disk open in a dot rc file okay so now uh, please make sure you have this uh, import space in a dot trust on it dot rc line in your in a dot mt6753 dot rc of resurrection remix so after uh, you add that line move on to in a dot rc of the stock boot image and search for fingerprint okay so first of first uh, you will be able to see these lines the chown so copy those and uh, move to here generally i would be adding it near the touch panel so you can add it wherever you want but please make sure that you add it after post fs you have to add it after post fs ok so now i uh, will be moving down till the touch panel sorry so here is the touch panel so I'll be adding the fingerprint chowns here and later that move uh, down from here because we need to activate the service after the chown so I'll be moving till the wireless MediaTek edition of wireless so here is it so now move back to init.rc and find the fing uh, fingerprint again you will be able to see these lines fingerprint dot d sorry fingerprint daemon so copy that and uh, paste it after FOTA ok uh, whenever you paste this both uh, it is now ready so first the the ram disk will uh, check for the charms so we have added it somewhere here fingerprint ok so net, uh, let me make it clear custom roms accept slash system forward slash you have to add forward slash before everything of it because custom rom doesn't know where sys is located it does know where root is located so you need to specify it is under root so after making this change and uh, after confirming that you have added fingerprint daemon now you are good to go 
before and before repacking we'll check it again import trust onic dot rc then save it now go to uh, resurrection remix boot image and here again uh, check this file in a dot trust onic dot rc so you have it again close it now uh, go back to carly and uh, you can see that boot dash image uh, verified is selected here but uh, we need to repack the rr boot image so select another image and then rr image then you can see the option to in repack boot selected so after pressing it it will take a little of time and uh, it will show this is the output of the boot image where you can find in the output folder so here this is the boot image which you have to flash after flashing this boot image after uh, flashing the rom after flashing the boot image now please verify if there is a file named uh, fingerprint.mt6153.rc and system lib hw if it is then delete it go back go to lib64 hw again delete uh, the fingerprint.mt6153 file from here delete now it's time to apply the patch so here is the patch which i have uploaded on the android file host so i'll be copying those i'll be pasting into the system folder merge the folders replace if any redundant uh, files are present so after replacing you are good to go just repack everything and flash in your device so after flashing in your device uh, at the setup screen you will be able to add the fingerprint thank you for watching